Hello, uh, my name is Tyler Russell, and today we're going to be going over a simple analysis problem. So we're going to prove that the function f of x equals x squared is continuous at the point x equals 4 using the epsilon delta definition. Now, like usual with these problems, what we're going to need to do is do a little bit of kind of like scratch work to find what our delta is, and then we'll formally write our proof. <laughs> so whenever we think about um, this inequality that we're gonna have to do, it's going to be, so the function x squared minus the value at x equals four, which is 16. So what we can do is factor this. So whenever we do this, we get absolute value of x plus four, absolute value of x minus four. And then here, we need to think about where these numbers are coming from on the number line. So we have zero, four, negative four. Now, whenever we're thinking about a limit, we're thinking about getting really close to the value, in this example, four. So whenever we do that, we can certainly restrict our x values to be within at least one um, of x equals four. So if we do that, if we imagine we can do that, we'll see how we can do it uh, whenever we write our proof in a second. So whenever we do that, the term absolute value of x plus four is going to be bounded by the number nine because the furthest you can go is five. So four plus five, nine. So this thing is less than nine. And then absolute value of x minus four, that's gonna be less than delta. And if we suppose that this is less than epsilon, then we figure out that our delta needs to be equal to epsilon over nine. Okay, so that's our scratch work. Now we're going to write the proof. So as always, the infamous, we're gonna let epsilon be greater than zero. And now remember how I said we need to restrict our values of x to be within at least one of four. So we're going to define our delta to be equal to the minimum of one and epsilon over nine. So then we can now do pretty much the same thing that we have over here. So whenever we have x squared minus 16, we factor that exactly like before. And then this x plus four, that is less than or equal to nine. And then this x minus four is going to be less than epsilon over nine. Now there is actually some logic here. Uh, so uh, x minus four is always less than delta, but delta is the minimum of one and epsilon over nine. So delta has to be less than or equal to epsilon over nine. So that's what I'm getting at here. And whenever we simplify this, we get epsilon. So we see that uh, the limit as x tends to 4 of f, of f of x equals 16, which is f of 4. So we've done uh, what was asked. All right, thank you.